What's up guys? Welcome to your 168th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to get into, if you can't see my test package here, is OpenGL. And basically OpenGL is going to allow us to program 3D, 3D objects within a view. Um, you see any like 3D games, that's what they're probably using is OpenGL. And as well as like it's beneficial for just processing information and um, pretty much any kind of game development. So it's pretty useful. Um, what we're going to do is just basically develop a 3D square and have it rotate. Nothing too awesome, but at least you guys will get the basic concepts. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up three classes. So just uh, get those set up. First class we're going to call GL, uh, capital G, capital L, example. And that's going to be our main activity class. And then we're also going to create a uh, new class called uh, GL render er, renderer ex uh, for example and also what kind of object that we want to create so we're going to create another class called gl uh, so they're all kind of close together when you guys are looking at these uh, gl cube maybe uh, since we're going to create a 3d cube and just hit finish and there we go and let's get our first our example class all set up Again, this is just going to say extends activity. And we got to add our imports. Right click, add a, again, a onCreate method. So nothing new there. And basically, when we're working with G OpenGL uh, ES for mobile development, uh, you want to use like a surface view. If you guys remember back when we were doing a little bit of graphics earlier, we used a surface view. And it's kind of the co same concept, except we're going to use a uh, GL surface view. So we're just going to create a GL, um, capital G, capital L, uh, surface view. And we're going to call this our surface. Um, and there we go. Add our imports. And as you guys will notice, pretty much all the OpenGL objects start with this capital G, capital L. So when you guys see that, most likely you're working with a uh, OpenGL object, just to keep that in mind. And what we're going to do is we're also going to add two, and I should have done this when we added our onCreate method, but we're also going to add a resume method and um, a pause method. So just again, go to source, override, implement methods, and on pause and also a on resume so there we go we're gonna add those two methods and basically when we work with OpenGL we're gonna create a surface view of some sort that's gonna be a GL surface view and we're gonna basically um, set that to be a uh, we're gonna set a renderer to that surface view to render uh, the way that we want it to set up the camera set up all the stuff that we would like and then we're just basically gonna pause that surface view and we're also gonna you know resume it as well so uh, just to get that set up we have our our surface instance and we're just gonna call this um, and we're gonna set this equal just to a new GL surface uh, view so pretty uh, pretty default there and that's supposed to be equals and that's supposed to be capital L as well so and we have to pass in a context, so we're just going to relate to the context of this class. And there we go. We have our surface view set up. And now what we're going to do is basically, uh, we're going to have one more line of code, but we'll get into that in the next tutorial. But then we're just going to set our content view to our GL surface view. So it was called our surface within the onCreate method. And then all we're going to do is pause this surface and restart it within our pause and resume method. Because again, we don't want to use more, you know, we don't want to use up memory that we don't even need. So we're just going to say surface view our surface dot on pause. And that's just going to pause our surface view. Pretty simple. And we're also just going to say our surface dot on resume. So uh, basically, that's just going to pause our surface and resume it. Pretty, pretty standard. Um, so that's the basic setup of this activity. Again, we're going to add a renderer to our surface view to handle some methods for us but uh, that's gonna go there but besides that we're pretty much done with this activity again you guys can keep this open for the future tutorials when we add that renderer in 
and these are the three classes that we're going to work with. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one, and see you later.